Right then, this is an interesting video that we're going to be doing here, and it's going to be assessing, was Rafael Varane a success? Maybe two centre-halves. Probably a similar ability, but certainly nowadays, at least anyway. Uh, I think it would be safe to say. Agree? Yeah, Agree? definitely. <laughs> He's refusing to answer. Yeah. Right, so Rafael Varane came here with World Cup winner, four-time World Cup Cup winner, four-time Champions League. Champions League Varane is who we signed. Yeah. Three-time Spanish champion, Spanish Cups, Nations League, all sorts of stuff in the mix. Individually, he's won everything you would want to win, <laughs> apart from Ballon d'Or, which defenders don't get. So, this season, 29 games he played, been part of Manchester United's worst defence. Not entirely on him, obviously. There's a few hands in this pot. But he's been part of Manchester United's worst defence in the Premier League era. We finished the season with a zero goal difference. Can we call him a success? Let or me, is it just flop, move on? Let me start off with this one because we you're, all want to hear what Rio has well to say. Well, obviously your me, defending experience is level. So. What I expected to see from Varane is not what we saw this season. No one can argue that. <laughs> I'm now starting to think, was he protected by Ramos at Real Madrid? Because I've heard, I've heard, for example, that, that you did an episode with uh, Culture Cams on five formations and he said something that stood out he said sometimes systems can protect players now he was talking about pk in this instance which i don't really agree but maybe you know maybe that's why pk couldn't make it at united but he goes somewhere else and the system protected him i think with iran we could be looking at the same thing i'm not under i'm not taking away what he's achieved great stuff but at the same time I thought you were getting some sort of leader. Maybe not shouting like Ramos and throwing his hands in the air and being as aggressive, but I thought through examples of play. I've seen someone that's been a shadow of themselves. I've seen someone who doesn't look vocal. I don't know if that's a language thing. I've seen someone who couldn't make other players better, i.e. I'm not putting the Maguire's performances on him, but surely if it's not Maguire, Lindelof should be looking better as well. Um, so I'm starting to, or maybe, maybe it's none of that. And Real Madrid knew that he was on his way out. That's why they got rid of two centre-backs in the same season, which I thought, you're never going to do. You're never going to get rid of both of them. But yet they did. So, um, but I do believe, I do believe, it could be both, but I do believe that you're seeing a player that was protected by the system. I, I, I just think he went from one team, the honours there tell you that the team was a functioning team, functioning at the top level. Um, all players playing to their maximum consistently. And he's now gone into an absolute reverse situation where the team has zero functionality, no confidence and no guidance and no, no structure of where they're going. So it's a, he's going in there into an alien scenario situation where he's going, oh, this is, I have not seen this since probably playing youth team football. <laughs> like, so to understand... So, so to, to be able to go from that world-class operating and culture on a daily basis and standard to what he's at, at Man United, I think is a huge, huge shift. And he's probably sitting there, he's like a rabbit in the headlights thinking, wow, what is this? And he hasn't been a, the player that we've expected him to be when he came here. I think he would sit there and tell you that. You couldn't tell you anything else. And I think he'll be saying that I've got up levels next year. I need help. I need teammates. And he's probably realised actually because as players, when you're on your, on your best form and you're playing well and you're winning, sometimes the ego talks loud. It's me. I, I, I'm a massive part of why we are what we are. When really, you all need each other as much as one another. You need teammates to be the best. Messi, Ronaldo, Zidane, Ronaldo. These players do not do what they're doing without the teammates. And when you hear them, when they accept all these accolades and all these awards, they always thank teammates straight away because they, they knew they know that yeah. you need them without them you are not the superstar and the figure you are Steve I had high expectations injuries haven't helped and it feels mm -hmm. like he's never mm -hmm. really I don't know what streak he managed to get without being out of the team but it didn't really feel like he ever properly got going I, mean, I remember you hugging him on the pitch the day mm. we signed him I could have burst I was so excited mm. I was scared <laughs> I can't lie I mean, that looked like the passing of the baton there like, mm. I was scared yeah yeah for, for loads of different reasons but he never I mean I don't even, has he had a man of the match performance 
Mm. I think the first few games were good, to be fair to him. We were, he, at, we he were looked, all at. He looked different. He's, he's obviously different to Maguire and he's obviously different to Lindelof. But he's still not hit the sort. I've seen this guy have some performances where you're purring watching him. And I didn't have that at all this season watching him. I had games where I thought he did well. But I don't know if he ever blew me away once this season where you know, I saw him smash someone, clear something up, hit a ball through the lines. All of those things that make a centre-half world-class that I've seen him do, I didn't see. It's funny. And you say systems protect players. Yeah, but Real Madrid play on the halfway line. Like, what system are you thinking protects Varane? If anything, he was the one having to cover for Ramos after yeah, he's yeah. gone in to try and kill someone. <laughs> like, like this, if a system's protecting a player, it ain't Real Madrid and it ain't Varane. He was very similar to Matip in a way where they've also got the same kind of like style the way they play. But I, I just, I don't know. I just, don't, I don't know what's happened this season. And I don't expect, what's funny is I don't expect him to get back to the same levels, Rio. I really don't. Um, I think that's an area you guys are going to be looking to recruit. Uh, hopefully he can, he can hold the hand of whoever you're going to be playing in that position. I mean, I'm not saying Maguire's not going to be playing. You've spent all that money on him. Probably I think I, I'm interested to see what Ten Hag does in that area. Yeah. So, I mean, you're talking about the young lad at um, Timber, Timber um, Ajax, mm -hmm. who's a centre half, but a small centre half. It, I'll be interested to see what happens with Varane, Lindelof, and Maguire. Because I think, and, and Eric Bay as well, obviously, I think one or two of them are going to go. Steve, I'll go on to you. It's fair to say that he hasn't had a fantastic season. I think we don't need to, to ask the comments for that. But, mate. They're not even doing the Player of the Year awards at United, mm. which for starters is mental because mm. I think that's a little unfair on, yeah. the, on the under 18s who've won something and the ladies' teams who've won something just because these idiots at the top here haven't done a thing. They need to sit there and I drop actually everything. Think is that a good message, though, I, no, I, I, I understand why they haven't done it because there's nothing to be applauded for. But I think as a club, I would have maybe made them go in there and squirm. There's players that are going to be leaving. But just gonna be like, well, especially for the ones that you feel have tossed it off, and you think if you think that they genuinely haven't really given it everything, and they should be able to go in there and, and feel that embarrassment because that could be a catalyst. I don't want this again. I don't want this feeling again. Like I don't. Fans. I don't. I don't get that with the current team, man. I, I see Cavani giving mm. fans middle fingers and whoever. He's off anyway. I, he's yeah, gone. but I don't. I don't get that vibe. Like you know, mm. like you know, if you don't do this, you might no, sit no, on no, the bench. Yeah, or, but what I'm saying is, you have got to start with that somewhere. Mm. I'm not saying that's there. Well, no awards, isn't it? No, but I'm saying if you go make them go to the awards, and listen, you're only going there because I want you to feel that that pain, what that feels like going there and being and, embarrassed. And watch these under 18s because yeah. they've actually achieved something. Watch the girls' team. Yeah. yeah. But the reason yeah. I brought up the Player of the Year awards, it's the easiest Player of the Year awards we've ever had to give. It's yeah. Player of the Year, it's Ronaldo, next. That's yeah. it. No one else even needs a, a, an honourable mention. United haven't won a game without Ronaldo on the team. <laughs> wow. No, no, Remember when it was a problem? It was a problem, though. Wow. Anyway. Wow. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think. Uh, will Ten Hag be addressing that problem? And if so, how? And also, let us know your thoughts on Varane's season. Like I said, it's fair to say that it hasn't been great. But, you know, give us an analysis. Let us know what you think. Myself, Joel Bayer, Stephen Housen, Rio Ferdinand, and we will be back soon. Peace.